Uh-oh, that's a real nasty seizure. What could have caused this, Doctor? Seizures are changes in behavior and movements caused by abnormal electrical activity in the brain. Did anything happen just now that could have caused this? Nope. We were just about to sit down for a yummy lunch when suddenly this happened. Mm, that rules out acute symptomatic seizures, then. Seizures aren't cute at all. I, no, that's not what I meant. Acute symptomatic seizures are provoked and are caused by things like injuries, infections, head trauma, and the like. So that means this was unprovoked? Exactly. And unprovoked seizures are something I can't properly deal with at the moment. So we'll need to take you to the hospital. ASAP. Hey, Doc. I think I'm stable now, but that seizure was really scary. What the heck happened? Mm, after a battery of tests, we finally concluded that Brain has a rare disease known as Rasmussen Syndrome. What? I have no idea what that is, but rare disease sounds super bad. How the heck did I get that? Rasmussen syndrome, also known as Rasmussen's encephalitis, is an autoimmune disease that normally occurs in children under the age of 15. But last I checked, we're way older than that. Uh, yes, I realize that. It has also manifested itself in adults on some occasions. So why'd this Rasmunchkin cinder cause brain to go haywire? Because it caused chronic inflammation to one of brain's cerebral hemispheres. As you know, Brain has two hemispheres. Like us! No, no, there's only one Brain, but he has two parts. Hey, that ain't fair! Why does Brain get two parts all to himself? It's an evolutionary development that allows him to specialize in complex skills and makes multitasking possible. Like eating a yummy pizza while playing a video game at the same time? Uh, yeah, something like that. So, since one of my hemispheres has been infected by this disease, what needs to be done? Unfortunately, since we caught it too late, the only proper treatment now is a hemispherectomy. It means we have to remove one of Brain's hemispheres. Oh, that yeah! sounds terrible! Oh god, I'm literally going to lose half of myself! Isn't there any other way, Doctor? At this stage, unfortunately not. What'll happen if we don't go through with the hemisphere whatchamacallit? Yeah, will the disease eventually spread to the other hemisphere or something? No, it won't. Rasmussen syndrome specifically affects only one of the hemispheres. It won't transfer over to the other one. Then why can't we just leave it alone? Because if left untreated, the disease will continue to damage and degrade the hemisphere it is currently affecting. This will lead to more seizures in the long term, which could eventually become life-threatening. Oh, right. I, uh, see why that could be bad. But what'll happen to me after the surgery? One of the sides of your body could be weakened or temporarily paralyzed, and things like balance and coordination may also be affected. What about my memory? Will I still be able to talk? What about certain skills, like- Yes, those things will likely be affected as well. And the good news is that with proper rehabilitation, we can eventually get you back to your old self. Good as new! I don't know. Don't worry, Brain. I'll be here for you the whole way. We all will. Right, buddies? We're yeah. here to help you Brain. out! Gosh, that means so much to me, Heart. All right, Doctor. Let's do the surgery. Oh no, I fall down again. Fell, Brain, fell down again. But don't worry, we can always get back up, right? Thanks, Heart. Oh, this is never going to work! Huh? It's been almost six months, Heart, and Brain still hasn't shown any improvement. But that's not fair. Doctor said it might take years of rehabilitation to get him back to his old self. Yeah, and how many years is that going to be, huh? 10, 20, 50? Just <laughs> I know I don't think as good as before, but I know they not like me. Don't, Brain, don't like me. And no, that's not true. We all like each other here. It's just, well, sometimes... Uh-huh. Sometimes we get impatient when things are hard, you know? So I'm sure liver and the kidneys didn't mean what they just said. I understand. Even I not like it when I like this, too. Oh, I just want things to go back to normal. Yeah, me too, buddy. Now let's work on your hand-eye coordination exercises, okay? We can get back to your communication drills later. Now to tackle that big presentation for tomorrow. I heard that we may get a big promotion if we pull this off. You can do it, Brain. Go get him. Uh, Brain? Yeah, Liver? We know you're busy and all, but Kidneys and I have been wanting to tell you this for a few months now. 
Uh-oh, what is it? Are we sick? I made sure to retool our diet recently so it's perfectly balanced to fight against diseases and the like. And we feel so much better because of it! No, it's not that. We just wanted to say sorry, Brain. We're so very, very sorry! Huh? For what? We didn't believe you would make it through your rehabilitation and gave up on you. Oh, liver. It's all water under the bridge, my friend. But I do have to thank my special little buddy over here. Thanks for sticking by me, heart. Anytime, Brain. Anytime. But you said Rasmussen Syndrome couldn't affect Brain's other hemisphere! Yeah, so why'd he get another seizure?! I'm sorry, Organs. Normally, people with Rasmussen Syndrome who have undergone a hemispherectomy and proper rehabilitation never have to worry about the disease again. But... But the disease can rear its ugly head again. Though it's exceedingly rare, this can happen to much less than 1% of people that have had hemispherectomies. Buddies, it's all right. Aw, brain. So, what's gonna happen now, Doc? Those last few seizures were pretty severe. We'll do the best we can here, but if Brain suffers another one, he may fall into a vegetative state. He's going to turn into a pumpkin or something? Like in Cinderella? I... no. A vegetative state occurs when Brain is damaged to such a degree that he loses all awareness of himself and his surroundings. You mean... He'll stop being himself? Yes, everything will essentially be gone. Except basic functions like breathing and heart rate. Oh no! Why does that happen, Doc? It happens when the seizures become so severe that they cut off Brain's oxygen long enough to damage him greatly. Could Brain still recover from it, Doctor? Unfortunately, chances of that are slim. Why? Because of your human's advanced age and the presence of Rasmussen Syndrome. Isn't there a cure for Ras... Munchkin out yet? Unfortunately, there's still no cure for the disease, so there's nothing more we can do. And you should have seen Stomach. He always says he hates the parenteral nutrition that they give us, but then he keeps asking for seconds. <laughs> Anything? Still the same, unfortunately. Oh, you did a great job, little buddy. Right up until the end. Thanks. Brain's been in this vegetative state for a few years now, and doctor says that it's permanent. And his Rasmussen syndrome has only gotten worse over time. He says that it could strike again at any moment. But it was the best life anyone could have ever lived. Three cheers for the best human body in existence. Hip, hip, hooray! And that's the end of Human Buddy. Not time to go back to the past with this cure that was just discovered. Hey, Brain, look over there. Where? Where? Ow, what the heck was that for? Oh, nothing. Bye. Subscribe.